Thank you for tuning in to another one of my videos. My name is Cliff and this series of videos that I've been doing is called 99 Problems But My God Ain't One. Um, I've been running from 99 all the way down to number one and um, unfortunately from the timing of our world that we're in right now um, it's getting late uh, I, like I said I'm trying to go from 99 all the way down to number one at this point I'm going to do number one because of things going on in the world and this one is the most difficult one but the, it's the easiest one that I know like the truth um, the number one issue in the world is God God Almighty himself um, I wouldn't say it's the number one problem it's number well number one problem relates to him but he's not the problem it's us our relationship with him but this is about God and I'm gonna say as frankly uh, about God who he is from his teachings to me through himself uh, my pastor at J uh, GKM that's Global Kingdom Ministries and the prophet TB Joshua most of my learnings or my education comes from him who the Lord guided me to through the power of the Holy Spirit uh, God is the beginning and he will be the end um, he gave us everything everything we have comes from him and we are in this bind because of our nature our undeniable nature to go astray from what is his most precious gift to us and that is his love number one of all things God is love he's always been love from the beginning and even now but also God is jealous he says his name is jealous and rightfully so he has the right to be jealous because he he made everything and all he asked for or he forget that all he demanded and I don't know maybe this is the reason why I'm doing this or he's given me the 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 mantle to do this is because I'm frank I've always been straight one way or the other as as possible and from what I've learned we are in this fickle because of ourselves God demanded commanded that we love him first above everything above every single thing in this world that we love him and we worshiped him he promised Noah he promised Noah his prophet back in a day when he brought the floods he said that he promised not to do these things this wicked thing to all of man again until 
he comes to destroy the whole world. We are at the point where he he said that because of man's um, lack of love towards him, he will destroy. He will make a judgment against all man. And because of our, our um, uncanny desire to stray from him, he gave us the prophets, which in turn created this book. It's called the Holy Bible. All of these things I'm talking about, love, the Holy Bible, and the Word, and His jealousy and His love, they're all God. All of these things are God. The Lord gave us something that he did not have to give. And that this is called free will. Each one of us has this. It's the spirit of God. Free will. And at the beginning when Cain came to and destroyed his brother or killed his brother, Abel, God explained to Cain that this is sin. And it comes to destroy you. But you must fight. Fight against sin. So it doesn't control you or have you. Ever, um, ever since um, Eve and Adam ate from the apple, we have been fighting sin. God, from the time, from the time, time began, had a plan for man. And all would see his measure of grace, glory, and anger. We are, at, we are at the time where we're going to see all these things measured in one. God is love to those that can see and feel. When I say God is love, you should feel it. Those that cannot feel it have been adopted and they've been adopted by the enemy I'm not going to even say his name in this in this in this video he doesn't have the right to have his name said the Lord God Jesus Christ was sent here because everyone was being deceived and the Father would not have it anymore and to make the new covenant the much simpler covenant with man make it where man has no excuse not to know, not to be able to find him, not to be able to worship to him anywhere. There is no explanation for your lack 
of trust in the Lord. There's a part of you that was born with, with the Spirit of God. The enemy comes to destroy that part of you and lie to that part of you. The master of lies. But that, that part of you, the spirit that, that comes from the holy place was never, ever supposed to be deceived. And would not be deceived if you went to look for Christ. If we all kneeled and looked for Christ, He would be there. Now in this time, the Bible, the whole book, explains that the Lord Jesus is coming coming back for a second time at some point. This is the time of judgment. 